Hi, I'm Dr. Nemeth. I'm a periodontist in Southfield, Michigan, and this is Olivia. Hi. Olivia is a chief cook and bottle washer in the <laughs> bottle washer in the assistant category, and we could not really exist without her. So we're going to talk today about cleaning in your between your back teeth, that is the molar teeth which are sometimes a little more difficult for some people to get to. Cleaning, flossing, cleaning between the molars, the, that is the teeth in the back. A lot of people seem to have a problem getting back there with their dental floss. So I'm gonna give a little demonstration first on how I use floss, although most of the time I don't use floss and I'll talk about that also. So when I do use floss, I take a very long piece. The longer the better because I wound it, wind it around my finger very thoroughly and then I wind it around this one and then I use my two index fingers all the time to get back there and floss on the bottom and on the top. Why don't we open this up? So as I said, I use my two index fingers for me I think it's the easiest to get back around those molars. But as I said, most of the time I do not use floss. I may use it occasionally, but I believe that interproximal cleaners like these, these are called soft pick advanced, these kinds of things I think are easier to use and more effective and they go in between just like this or just like this and in my mouth it's easy to reach back there and do the molars. Of course you need to do the whole mouth we're just showing the molars because that seems to be the most difficult. Now if the spaces between the molars are large instead of using maybe this kind of soft pick you might use a thicker soft pick or you might use a proxa brush. But it's very important to clean between the teeth, certainly the molars. A lot of gum disease starts in the molar area because it's more difficult to clean. Cleaning between the teeth is the most important thing you can do in preventing gum disease because gum disease almost always starts between the teeth. And Olivia may do it a little differently, so I'll let her talk about it a little bit. Hello. So I like to take a long piece as well because um, usually when I floss I do my whole mouth, not, not just the molars. Um, so I usually use one piece for my upper and one piece for my lower, but I'm going to demonstrate with the lower right now. So I take and wrap it around my index fingers and then I'll actually either take my thumbs or my middle fingers to guide it in and go in between. So I feel like I have the most control and then I wrap it around again so I'm not using that same piece of floss when I move forward going into my other teeth. So same thing, I'll go over here, do the upper. Now for the upper I actually do use my thumbs whereas for the lower I think I use my middle finger. So. And then I typically don't have a lot of big spaces in my molars so floss is the thing that really works best for me. Um, the proxy brushes are too wide and can't seem to get the soft picks up there. so. Floss is my go-to. I think the key at all of these cases is just to use a small amount. Yes. Because if you use a larger strip like this, you're not going to be able to control it. So you want to use the smallest amount that you can get between your, between your thumbs or between your index fingers. You can control it much better. Don't try using a long piece of floss. Yes, a long piece of floss to wrap up, but a small piece when you're using it to clean between the teeth. And don't forget the water pick. Water pick is enormously helpful. We recommend it for virtually all of our patients and it will flush out food particles and material that you may miss with the floss and even with the interdental cleaners. And the water pick, by the way, is great. I use it twice a day at least. However, it does not replace the floss or the interproximal cleaners. It will flush out particles, but it may not remove the film that exists in that area 
as well, or it may not stimulate the tissue because when I use these, as opposed to the floss, I can actually rub the gum tissue, stimulate it, get the blood flowing, toughen it up a little bit. Not so easy to do with the floss. So this is my number one go-to, and it comes in various sizes. The floss is fine and can be used. I have no objection to it, but if I have to choose between one or the other, this is the one I choose. Cleaning between the teeth, very critical in keeping your gums healthy, keeping your gums healthy, really critical in keeping your body healthy. So make sure you keep your gums healthy so your body's going to be healthier and you're going to be healthier and you're going to be happier. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'd love to hear from you. Have a great day. Restore your smile and your health. Visit drnemoth.com to schedule your appointment today.